Welcome back to I Dream of Indie. I'm Fiddle Flora. This time around, we've got a really unique new title called Bite the Bullet. Developed by Mega Cat Studios and published by Graffiti Games, Bite the Bullet is a classic run and gun style brawler with a twist. Every enemy is edible. Due to ecosystem failure and overpopulation, Earth in the near distant future faced food shortages and starvation, though a temporary solution was soon offered. Bio nodes were implanted in some humans which allowed them to consume any substance. These nodes, however, also caused mutations which turned the survivors into ghoulish monsters. As a last effort, humanity fled to space where they survived since. Years later, Darwin Core has been collecting genetic material across the galaxy for preservation and research, though for less cooperative beings they bring in the big guns, which would be us. It has a classic arcade style setup in a series of levels along with a set of challenges for each level for the truly hungry players. On the surface, Bite the Bullet may seem like a typical run and gun title, but the focus on food makes this one a ton of fun. A super creative concept that adds an unusual layer of decision making into gameplay. Every action costs a certain amount of the resources that you gain from gorging. While every enemy is edible, you can also change physically with your intake based on the content of the creatures you chow down on. Pack on the protein and get jacked or fatten up and add a defensive layer. Your body is your vessel. You are what you eat, literally in this case. Fill up enough and you can enter Zombro mode and go berserk, which is great for getting out of crowded situations when you're starved for health. You have to break some eggs in order to make an omelet. You'll find moldy food giving off rancid green spores. Munch these to upgrade your weapons. A few different options for upgrades gave this some rogue elements that felt like a nice change of pace for a run and gun title. Rather than just straight damage upgrades or the usual gun upgrades, it makes it easier to customize your playstyle, which, speaking of playstyle, there's an enormous skill tree with different classes and upgrades to accommodate your appetite, whatever that may be. Stick to veggies and learn the superior psychic ways of the vegan. Mow down on some monster meat with the carnivore class for a real bloodbath. Take humanity to the next level and evolve by eating metal to increase your defense. There are plenty of upgrades to fill your plate and the skill points are portioned generously, so don't be afraid to explore new tastes. Along with intense boss fights that will truly test your skills and silly minigames scattered throughout the levels, Bite the Bullet truly feels like it would be at home on an arcade cabinet with the slick arcade style shooting. I loved that it doesn't take itself too seriously, as a lot of the arcade games of my generation loved to poke fun at themselves. This to me truly has all the signs of a great arcade game. There's also a co-op mode, so make a reservation for two and check out Bite the Bullet August 13th on all major platforms. As always, thanks for coming through I Dream of Indie to check out the latest indie game previews and reviews. Be sure to subscribe to be up to date on the latest indie games we have coming through. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.